Hello everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week we're doing the deep dive episode into the rabbit to finally figure out the whole list of everything I need. Stay. <laughs> Alright everybody, so this week is the full the full diagnostic or breakdown or deep dive or whatever you want to call it into the 75 Rabbit just to see exactly what all is needed to get this car done and on the road. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by taking the boost tubing out of the way so we can actually get a look down in the engine compartment without the boost tubing in the way. And we'll start the engine compartment and then just kind of work our way underneath and then through the inside of the car and that should give us a pretty good idea of exactly how much work I have left to do. Okay, so let's start out with the obvious stuff. Um, some of the obvious stuff that I've already noted is I need a brake booster line to go from here up to here to give me vacuum for the uh, for the brake booster so I, the power brakes actually work. Um, I need to finish up attaching the cooling lines. Um, I've got uh, I think I've already got those cut, um, but I'm missing one of them somewhere. Um, so I need to attach the cooling line from the heater core. Um, and I don't remember where I had that lined up to go to. Um, I need a lower radiator hose. So let's start visually looking at stuff here. So I need a lower radiator hose. I need an alternator belt. Um, I already have the, the VR6 water pump pulley down in there. Let's just take that out of the way too. So I already have the VR6 water pump pulley. I do have a new timing belt tensioner and all that stuff on there. Um, I have a bung for my oxygen sensor that needs to be welded on to the, to the down pipe. Um, but this is a really crappy one. I kind of wish it had a contour to it so it would fit nicely on the um, onto the tubing. So I might order a different one for that. Um, I did, I don't know if you can see it, right down here, um, I actually had this tapped out for the larger bolt so that I can attach the turbo oil feed uh, for the turbo to the oil filter housing but I'm missing a crush washer for that. Um, let's see here. Um, I need to bleed the clutch line. I need to bleed the brakes. Um, I still need to get fuel lines up into the engine compartment. Um, I don't have that done. Um, I need some way to relieve pressure, and I haven't figured that out yet, some way to relieve pressure on this coolant stress bar that I made because uh, I can't just have it uh, like pressurize itself and then uh, I would never fill up with overflow coolant. Um, I need to install the front motor mount. I have not installed the front motor mount yet. Um, let's look behind the motor. Okay, so our level of fanciness here is increasing. Um, I have this little magnetic light, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so I have this coolant line that comes off the turbo and this coolant line that comes off the turbo that I still need to plumb in somewhere. I haven't figured out how or where I'm going to do those yet. Uh, but aside from plugging in things, I think, and clamping things, I think most of the most of the things down here are getting wrapped up. Yeah, I had a line going from here, the out, outlet of the uh, oil cooler flange, up to here is where I had that other hose running. So I'm um, still going to figure out stuff for cooling. Um, let's take a look underneath the car. Okay, so underneath the front of the car, um, I do have, I think I have one broken sway bar mount that needs to be repaired. Um, I'll have to confirm that. The part that I'm super frustrated the most about is right here, the flange that goes to the test or to the 
to the uh, connector pipe. Um, there's three bolts that go into there with nuts and washers, and I have lost that packaging. I have no idea where it is. I have two vice grips holding it, and <laughs> I am really frustrated that I cannot find that package of nuts and bolts that I got from Tectonix anywhere. Um, I have torn this garage apart seven or eight times looking for it. So I still don't know where I'm going to run fuel lines um, because the car didn't have fuel. Uh, well, the fuel lines that were on here were because uh, the brake lines are now occupying that spot. And originally in this car, the brake lines went inside the car. So, um, so I got to figure out where I'm going to put those. Um, and I'm probably going to use flexible. Well, I have actually, I do have some hard line in the car that I can use for that material. So um, I need to figure out, and if you have any suggestions on where I should run the fuel lines on a swallowtail, that would be really helpful. Um, but brakes are on, they just need to be, need to be bled. Um, let's go take a look inside the car. Okay, so in here, I already have a brand new heater core installed um, into the factory heater box. Um, there is our Fast Bunny Metalworks uh, hydraulic clutch kit, which needs to be bled. Um, I still need to mount the fuse box, get all the relays installed, test all the wiring before I wrap it. I need to wrap the whole harness. Um, Install the hood release cable, which is here. Um, install all the stuff for the dash. I'd like to get a set of like one of the speed hut gauges to go into the cluster and make that look nice. Paint the doors, door panels, which are not essential to this car going down the road. Um, but all that needs to happen. Then I can focus later on wiring up the power windows for the rears. Um, all the rear wiring for like the tail lights and everything else is installed. So here's the list I've made so far of all the things that I feel like I need to get done. And you guys can QC me on this. And uh, if there's other things that you guys think of, I have a spot on here that says rabbit from YouTube to do. So I will write all your suggestions down here that need to be done. I also have made a list for the Datsun just because I figured someone would ask what's on the list for the Datsun. So here's what I have on the list for the rabbit. Um, fix, fix the coolant lines and the hoses, bleed the brakes, check trans fluid, change it, do an oil and filter, finish the oil lines to the turbo, uh, oxygen sensor bung, get the fuel lines to the engine, gasket and bolts for the exhaust, which I'm still really frustrated about, mount the ECU, test the wiring, tape the harness, install the dash parts, put in a brake booster line, bumper end caps, which is not needed for running, bleed the clutch master and slave cylinder, mount a battery, put in an air, in an air filter, get tires mounted on the new wheels, buy lug nuts so I can actually bolt them onto the car, install the front engine mount, coolant overflow relief and inlet, radiator fan mounting and wiring, alternator belt, crush washer for the turbo feed which kind of goes back up to the oil lines for the turbo, and an accelerator cable, a Mark III VR6 one. So that is everything so far that I can see that I need to make this thing run. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or things that you've done on the AEB swaps in the past, uh, hit me up and let me know. Leave it in the comments below because aside from that list, I'm sure there's other things that you guys might have seen that I forgot to do or have for, haven't realized I need to do yet. So, um, so hopefully... That is a comprehensive list of everything that I need to get done on this car to get it on the road. Uh, it seems like a lot of work, and it most likely is. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but a lot of it is just going to be getting myself in gear and getting out here and getting it done. So uh, 
But please, if you have any ideas, suggestions, comments, parts I can get, uh, anything like that, leave it in the comment below and it'll go on the board um, and uh, then we'll cross it off as we get things done. So until next time, get out there and work on something.